to PGF Retrospective. This week we're playing... Jazz Chat Rabbit 2. Best game ever made. Best game ever made. Best game ever made. Confirmed. Yeah. 100% best game ever made. No single solitary problems with it. It is the most Not at all. awesome, fun, brilliant game ever. 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 So ever. we're going to bring you some facts about it. We're going to bring you some gameplay. Let's get into the gameplay. And then uh, after that, I'll tell you what we think. We're back on Retro Gaming 101, and this is Jazz Jack Rabbit 2. Retro Gaming 101? Yeah. Retro, PGF Retrospective. Yeah. On no. Retro Gaming We haven't even done an AO, mate. Yeah, well, You've we'll forgotten how to record. It's been so long, you haven't even... It has been a long time. We've been busy, though. We've, been, been, busy. we've been busy doing other... Ah! Oh, you mate, suck. I've forgotten how much I suck at platform games. But, like, you play... We both played this one. Mate, I've... All right, look. Just as a little bit of background, I've just sat here whilst we were setting up for recording and skip through every single level with a cheat so that we could unlock all the levels so we could show you some of the later levels without yeah. having to play the whole game. Yeah, smart. And I, I watched, like, all the little cutscene bits in between because you can't yeah. skip them, and I recognise all of it. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, my God, I used to... I played this game all the way through when I was a little kid. Yeah. Did you ever used to play the multiplayer bits? Yeah. Me and my brother played it, like, all the time. Mate, the multiplayer bit was so good. And you had to, like, both gather around a keyboard. Yeah. Like we, we can keyboard. we can do that if you want. We can do some multiplayer. I can't, I can't be doing with it. We, well, you can use a controller. I'm a fact machine. In terms of critical acclaim, Jazz Jack Rabbit 2 did okay. Uh, I believe the current aggregated score on Metacritic is about 77 out of 100. So that puts it just about in the range of, yeah, it's all right. It's not bad. It's good dish. Uh, but obviously we thought it was brilliant. Probably because we were children when we first played it. Now, <coughs> I what I was going to say now. That's right. This game was only ever released on Windows and Mac, uh, obviously back in 1998, 1999 when the game came out. However, 2017, GOG.com, so goodoldgames.com, released a new version of Jazz Jet Rabbit. So you can go and buy this game online right now. It's the first time it's ever been re-released. I always right. thought that Spaz was a girl. No. Because he's like, it's got fairly girly hips. Oh, I, d I know. What? I don't, know. I don't know. Maybe I just thought girls were red when I was a child. But clearly not, because look at that. I mean, like... <coughs> not playing it on hard. I was preferred Spaz to Jazz. I think it was because it was different. It was like the, the other option. Yeah. It was like, wait, this is not the named character. Yeah. Right, so we're playing on the, like, third this level is, of the series? Uh, Funky Monkeys, I think. No, ah. it wasn't. It was something flashback, wasn't it? Is it flashback? Yeah. I clicked this is it. The I wasn't paying attention. No, no, we passed the Alice in Wonderland bit. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I mate. just remember there was a worm on the Alice in Wonderland bit. The uh, caterpillar. Yeah. The caterpillar that... Um, Didn't it send you crazy or something? It makes you makes you high, actually. Yeah. Things I mean, we, we did to kids in those days, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, that would never be allowed now, I don't think. Another version of Jazz Jarabbit 2 that was released was a Christmas version. So it came with a few levels. It wasn't the full game, uh, but it gave you some Christmas levels. So there were some Christmas themed sort of tile packs and there were Christmas themed enemies and stuff like that. Um, I think it was like three or five levels, something like that. Not particularly interesting, but Christmas. When you got loads, like the collection of the thing went up. The collection? It? Like, so like oh. the piano mo noise that sounds. Oh, yeah, it's like. Blip, 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 blip. Yeah, I like that. Oh. oh no! Yeah, you need them blue things, mate. I know. To unlock that secret. I love the cartooniness of it as well. No! But I did find. Oh that my the, god! These springs. Yeah. Were a bit like infuriating. Ugh. Not just that. It's just like a bit. I can't uh, get back up there now to get the thing. A bit gammy. Like. like there's some gammy bits in this game. Like it feels like you're slightly drunk while you're playing it. There was going to be a sequel to Jazz Jet Rabbit 2 as well. Jazz Jet Rabbit 3D. They were going to make a 3D version of this game. However, the game wasn't particularly commercially successful. I think they sold about 29,000 units. Obviously, back in 1998, that was a pretty, pretty decent amount, but it doesn't come anywhere close to any of the big titles that were coming out for PlayStation, stuff like that at the time. So it wasn't a huge release of the game. Obviously, Epic were working on Unreal Tournament at the same time, so they didn't really want to get stuck in a game that wasn't going to sell very well. So they lost the publisher, the developers sacked it off. So Jazz Driver 3D was about half done, maybe a little bit less. 
uh, and it was all cancelled. However, there are some videos online of some of the gameplay for Jazz Jarrett with 3D, and I reckon if you look hard enough, you might even be able to find a copy of it somewhere that you can attempt to play. But bear in mind, it is a very unfinished game, and apparently it's a bit rubbish anyway, because it's 3D and it kind of ruins the entire point of Jazz Jack Rabbit. But you need carrots, mate. Carrots are hearts. Carrots there you are go. here. Whoa. No, I want the gold. No. Oh, I couldn't remember how I you need the that freeze gold. gun. I don't have yeah. it. Hang on. Huh. You need the freeze gun. Wait, did you just cheat yourself a freeze gun in? Yeah. You bar steward. There you go. Yeah, because there were little teleporty bits that teleported you occasionally. Alright, turn me, turn me back. Turn me back. Yeah. Took you back. Woo ooh ooh now it took you back. Yeah, I've just yeah, got yeah, everything yeah, now. Yeah. I've got everything. Oh dynamite. I remember dynamite. Dynamite. I need dynamite. twenty more coins. No, I don't think people appreciate the cheating aspect of it, I'll be honest with you. Oh you did it? You're just cheating horrendously. Yeah, I'm doing it. I want people to see what happens in the game. Without this, like, without any need for skill, actually. Yeah. Well, I haven't got any. I don't remember that gun. I don't remember this gun, to be fair. Mate, you're cheating and you're getting barnacled by bloody bees. Ah! Oh, ah died. Uh, oh no. I love... I used to love the animations when you died. Shake your tail. Just get on your tits, though, after a while. Hey, I finished the level! The game hasn't crashed yet. It will. Which is impressive. It'll crash. Oh, I'm glad. Jazz, it always used to crash on me as well, like famously. Oh, I remember the wind. Oh, I remember it. So I'm gonna, I'm absolutely gonna send this to my brother when we publish this video. Yeah. Because like, he needs to know. I tell oh, us, mate. You I... know what's absolute bullshit in levels? Yeah. When, like. I'm jazz. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I'm jazz. Right, remember when like enemies could fly, in front of the level. Oh yeah. It like come from up above or something and get you, or like from down below, like those bees are doing. Ah, oh, those bees are getting you in. Yeah, the bees are doing. Oh, there's the that this gun. What is this gun? It's just firing bees. Don't know. Is it firing microscopic? I can't bees? even see the. You need freeze, mate. I know. Yeah, the like oh, when like you get propelled by a spring. Pellets. And it's just like, there's nothing you can do about it. It's yeah. Like, I like that. Well, it was to find retro games that we don't hate. other people like. like, And look at them within the views of today. That you, Like, this game today absolutely would not do well enough to, to, do, to be a game. I think it would do well as, like, a um, uh, mobile game or something. Like Yeah, yeah, but, it, like, but the graphically problem is it would need to be sorted out. Like, there's... What, a lot what's of wrong, stuff. What's no, wrong with the graphics, mate? Like it would just need to be updated, like to be today. The minor thing, as, as every retro game would. But like the main thing about this game is that uh, it's it's a little bit sketchy with kind of uh, ledge detection and stuff. Yeah. I when I used to play, it, I remember like you used to try and like jump up a little bit, and you could never like quite get it, and then it was just a bit like sketch. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Whoa. Problem is, I think with the flying enemies, because they're just so freaking annoying, they slow the game down a lot. Yeah. And for a game that's trying to like make you feel fast and, and I don't good. know whether I don't know whether this one is. I think the first one was more than this. I've I've never played the first one, but like when you look at look at it, look at gameplay of the first Jazz Jack Rabbit, like oh, I got that sugar rush. Mate. I I don't think this one's got the like. I feel like it's not got the uh, processing power to do the kind of really really fast stuff that it tries to do yeah and it just ends up feeling like slightly broken S slightly sluggish isn't it slightly, yeah yeah no, I see a little saying. bit like I sloppy it's really difficult to explain until you play on it oh here we go like but like these bits are ripped straight out of sonic this yeah. is just sonic actually well, the, just the thing straight is straight away like, sonic the pinball level was always my favorite ones because like you actually like shoot around and it's fun yeah but i like, used to hate the pinball levels except now because i'm stuck but the thing, you see what I mean? Like, if this was pinball on Sonic, you'd be in real, like a lot of control over the character, a lot more control over the character than you can in this, because it just feels a bit like, oh, it's trying to be 
like a walking, shooting platform game as well as Sonic the Hedgehog with its flash processing. Not gonna lie, and it just you. can't do it. I've got absolutely no idea where I'm supposed to be going now. I can't believe how many power ups there are, how many collectibles are, how are all this stuff. There's so much stuff in this game. There's so many things. Like it's the ultimate gratification. You just like everywhere you run, it's like of getting stuff. So there's gems which you can collect. You get enough of them, you can get extra lives. There are carrots which give you health back, obviously. There are special carrots which can give you an extra heart. There are one-ups which can give you an extra life. There are coins. So the more coins you collect, you can spend them at a merchant and it will take you to different areas of the game. Secret, hidden areas, stuff like that. There's two different types of coin. There's gold and silver coins. They both do different things with different merchants. Uh, what else have we got? We've also got all of the different kinds of weapons as well. So we've got the normal gunny, which is an infinite ammo type thing. And we've got the bouncy bullet ones. We've got rocket launchers. We've got homing rocket launchers. We've got flamethrowers. We've got ice flamethrowers. We've got flame ice shooters. Uh, we've got bombs, we've got electric guns, we've got freeze guns, we've got everything. There's so many guns, so many things, uh, which is amazing. Like They obviously put a lot of time and effort into thinking up all these different things and they work really well within the game uh, because there's so many different locations. So you get a lot of variety in the game, which is great to see. I always used to love the backgrounds though. Oh yeah. Like look at that background, like you can see the equalizer in the background. Like, yeah, no. Yeah, no, it looks amazing. It is, it is so good. Like, but I tell you the one thing that's awful, those spinning platforms in the jungle level that are little radishes and they're impossible to jump on. Oh, yeah, I know. And like when you're asking me to be... Yeah, that's annoying. Got that him. was annoying, wasn't it? It was a little bit annoying. Um, but then was it annoying or was it difficult? Like, was it challenging or was it annoying? Got enough gems, mate. Oh, I just what? walked through that guy. When they're a shell, they can't hurt you. Oh. Well, they're a shell of their former self, mate. Yeah. Jazz Jack Rabbit 2, they released a whole bunch of different versions of this game. Uh, there was the main game, obviously, they released, it was just called Jazz Jack Rabbit 2. Then there was Jazz Jack Rabbit 2, the secret file. So that included the main game as well as some. DLC, obviously they would have called it an expansion pack back in them days. So you got you a whole bunch of new levels, a couple new episodes, and a new playable character as well. Now as Aaron mentioned, the playable character is a rabbit called Laurie. She's yellow, and she's female, and she has her own special power-up attacks that she can do. Now essentially she's a bit of a combination between Jazz and Spaz. They do. Yeah, no, it's, it's, a, it's a powerful, powerful uh, style of game, I think it really looks. It looks good. I I prefer it to things like Sonic and stuff, just because it's a bit like yeah. But are you, is that because you've got the nostalgia of it? Or no, I I think better? I think so Sonic's like okay. Like Sonic is as it is, on like all the games like that, like Mario and everything. But like this one, it's just got a little bit more uniqueness to it. Ah, you have to shoot, not to uh, jump. Why are you not? Just shoot, shoot the eyes, mate. Shoot the eyes. Shoot the eyes. I'm trying to shoot the eyes. Or just run away from the eyes. Just leave the eyes. Ah! Oh, you beak. Just leave the eyes. Forget about the eyes. No, the, them, the eyes are, are shadowing me, mate. I For need to kill them. Forget about them. No, I can't. Forget about all the eyes. You see what I mean about the controls being so annoying? Well, I think actually what that is is that you're just rubbish. I don't think it is, because I'm a professional gamer, actually. I told, did I tell you about the time that I was number two in the world at uh, whatever game I said? What, this? Yeah, it was something. <laughs> oh, mate, that's a big red one. Oh, I you... seem to remember if you hit it for long enough, you got the carrot, but that's obviously a fallacy, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I wanted the fruit. That's a big box there, mate. But there's a huge story to this game, okay? It's really complicated, so try and keep up. Essentially, it's an evil uh, turtle, tortoise, you never see him near water, so you don't know, uh, called Devon Shell, and he steals uh, Jazz's 
uh, ring, he's got an engagement ring that, that Devon steals off him because uh, Jazz was going to like propose to his girlfriend called Eva, right? And uh, he got his ring nicked. So you follow Devon Shell as Jazz or Spaz through time to get this ring back. So then you can then propose to Eva, your girlfriend, who then marries you in the final scene. And then, quite interestingly, you see in Jazz Jack Rabbit 2 uh, at the end scene, uh, you see Jazz and Eva kind of getting married and they're like, Cheers, mate. And then Spaz is there sloshing on the wine, and then he sees a female rabbit, right? And he's like, yeah, go on, right? And that female rabbit, the character is actually Laurie, and in the special edition, like the extra levels that you get, turns out that Laurie is Spaz's sister, and uh, you know, it's a bit of incest, really. It's quite funny. It's a bit Game of Thronesy, mate. It's a bit Game of Thronesy, Game mate. Of Thrones. So this game is incredibly meta before Game of Thrones even came out. Couldn't say it on anything, actually. That's annoying, isn't it? Seen that? What? Like, right, better shoot that thing. <laughs> wow. Oh, the it's flying things, mate. There's a lot of flying badness, to be fair. Flying badness. <laughs> flying <laughs> Look badness. At Look at this. Look at this. That's why you have the bouncy guns and the bombs and stuff. There you go. Oh my that's, god. That's how you play the game. Is you yeah, just... but the ammo burn, come on. You have to spam, mate. Oh, you're getting. That monkey's throwing bananas at you. No, I'm off, mate. Go on. Ah, oh, the dog. Oh, oh he's frozen. Nah, no, you, mate. You're gonna freeze him. Looks like he got freeze burned. Ah, oh, Jazz. <laughs> jazz, tell me a te. Oh, this one was the awful level with like. Look at that guy in the tree there. Yeah. No, they, they, they got dark. It got really dark. This game was released in 1998 uh, by Epic Games. Obviously now uh, developers of Unreal Tournament. Uh, what else we've got? Unreal Tournament. Uh, the other game, Unreal Tournament. I uh, can't really think of any other games that Epic have ever done, but it doesn't really matter because they made the two best games ever, Jazz Jack Rabbit and Unreal Tournament. Lava. It's oh no! Oh, oh. oh, you got so lucky. I got so saved. I think you can actually walk in the lava if memory serves. Yeah, you can. Oh, oh well. Little devils. Yeah, this that's that's annoying. Got stuck there. I think it's just you, mate. I think you're just rubbish. Okay, so Jazz Jack Rabbit 2 had a multiplayer element. Now that was pretty special at the time, 1998. We're just finding our feet with the internet and multiplayer games and stuff like that. So you had a four player split screen game that you can play. So that would have meant four people crowding around a keyboard and playing like that. Alternatively, it was up to 32 players online. That's insane. Yeah, Aaron's looking at me like this now. Like You can play this game online. In 1986? Uh, 98. 1998? 90, yeah, you could play Jazz Jarabit online with 32 people in 1998, right? Could you imagine, like, oh, I'm gonna go play some jazz, like, getting that, like, internet yeah. noise. Yeah. That. No, that. no, these facts are. No, it's true, mate. No, it's I'm, true. Gonna, I'm gonna work the camera. No, these facts won't be bad. True. They're fake. And it the is. best thing is, right? You can still play it. Uh, no, oh, it was the that. end. Uh, well done, mate. You finished the game. I finished the, the game. cutscene. I mean, you still have the cutscenes. Cutscenes were cool. But yeah, he was the turtle dude who transformed into a, a big turtle, turtle dude. dude. Yeah. And Spaz is like, Ugh, Spaz yeah, then like scares him off and he yeah. goes into his little spaceship thing and then they just shoot it once and that's it. Is it a spaceship or like a time thing? Time, it's a time, 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 time travel. Yeah. yeah. That's the point of the game, isn't it? They travel yeah. in time. Yes, yeah. Yes! And they get and he the mega gem. Mega gem back. Yeah. And he's like, Mwah. He looks like Squidward. <laughs> Squid. <laughs> Squidward. Tortellini! Tortellini! <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, mate. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, he got savaged, actually. That was Yeah, he got just... brutalized. And then the back at the badly built castle. Um. Um. There's an expansion for this game where you can play as uh, Her, the a yellow, female, yellow, female yellow boy. Who are all these other people that just are never introduced? In no, the game? they're just random, random, random people. Well, there you go. That's the end of Jazz. Well, that was the best team. experience of my life. After playing the game again, uh, we've got some thoughts, we've got some feelings about it, um, and the thoughts and the feelings that I have were it's still brilliant. It's still brilliant. No, exactly, still, exactly. That high perfect. of mind no, is it's still perfect. Look, I was teleported back to the mid nineties where I was playing this game on yep. the tiny PC with my brother yep. and like yep. we were, it, it was there. Like
but I forgot about how good like the music is. The music is ha great. All of the sound design is amazing. Yeah. The art is just so good. Like the backgrounds that background that equalize a bit. Yeah, like what are you doing yeah. inside of like a radio yeah. thing, and they're like inside sense. of a computer and inside of a pinball machine, and then you're inside of like a jungle, and then it's like what is happening? Yeah, it's crazy. I did find some problems with the game though. Uh, there was I thought yeah, there was yeah. some issues with like the controls. They felt yeah. a bit like they were trying to combine kind of a side-scrolling Metroid style shooter yeah. into like a really fast-paced Sonic, Sonic game I think, yeah. and they just didn't meet yeah. fully. Yeah, I mean, it it does both things, like they both, it works. Yeah, but you no, can do both, neither one is... But neither of them are brilliant enough for them to, 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 yeah. to be brilliant. It's, uh, it's hard to kind of pinpoint it like, is this a really fast-paced Sonic game, or yeah. is it a slightly yeah. slower Mario based jumper, Where you have or to is shoot it uh, things and like actually kill yeah. enemies, or are you like trying to blast through as fast as possible? Like, because half the time the game makes you think that because it's got the spinny things and yeah. you like you actually curl up into a ball yeah. like Sonic does, and you got like you can, the like, bounce off the things, 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 or whatever, yeah, and, and the, the tubes, ball. yeah, and all that stuff. But then at the same time, you could be doing that, and then you can <laughs> straight into an enemy and just yeah. die. So but then it is good because the death isn't immediate. Like it doesn't well, have I mean, the coin based system of, yeah. of Sonic, but like you have, have the heart system. Yeah. So it's good in that yeah. respect. But then it's got it's got a heart system, it's got a live system, and then it's got saves as well. So I really don't see that. Yeah. So you've so got, it's got checkpoints, hearts, hearts lives, lives, checkpoints, saves. save games, um, and you have like Sugar Rush, which yeah. makes you invincible, um, and instantly kills enemies when you touch them. Yeah. And then you have all like the collectibles and stuff as well, but that's something else entirely. The flying enemies, uh, which go like uh, underneath and back, and because you can't shoot down or you can only shoot forward yeah. and up, and like to shoot up is like you shoot up, <laughs> not, and then and then like you yeah. walk and like you you can like shoot this bit here, but the enemy's there. And, and you can't, and you can't move get any further. And shoot up at the same yeah. time. You yeah. are shooting up and standing still, or you're shooting sideways. There are some issues, but. All of those issues aside, are really outweighed by how brilliant the art style is, how fun the game is, it is and it's crazy the fun. powerful nostalgia that you get when you play it again. But then maybe people who haven't played before won't have that nostalgia. Well, we don't know. That's kind of the point of retrospective: is to look at games where we have got nostalgia for it and where we haven't, and see if we can sort of pick up on things like that. But I would love to see this game remade, and I would love to see it remade not like Crash uh, Bandicoot or Crash Spyro. Bandicoot. Well, I'm, yeah. Like, just a, a modern day take on it. If you want to go play this game, do and let us know how you got on with it. Uh, and most importantly, subscribe to us down below in order to make Pizza Games Fun Times part of your day today. And if you want to see us live streaming on twitch.tv forward slash Pizza Games Fun Times, you can do that as well because we do giveaways and we play games and we are sometimes funny. Oh, you done? Mate, do you think we could get a recorded version of that so you don't have to say it every time? Just an idea. Stay pizza. Get out! <laughs>